Hello everybody, today is Thursday, May 5th. It's 4.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The regular session for the futures markets has just closed about five minutes ago. You can see the time in sales here on my left. The E-mini S&P trading at 2043.75. Before I go any further, first the required disclaimer. Okay, it was a pretty lousy day in the uh, for the auto trader today. There was really only a couple of charts that had solid gains. And so one of the reasons I'm even bothering to make the video today is because the 30-year Treasury bond on the Superenco 6 tick has just been extremely reliable. And today it delivered another winning day shy of its goal. But nevertheless, $1,000 in the bonds is on two contracts is still very respectable. So uh, this particular chart, if if this was the only uh, chart that ever worked in, with the auto trader, it would be worth the price of the software itself. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on the Superenco 6 tick. And this hit its goal of 750 today on two trades, as you can see here. We had a nice short uh, late in the day and uh, then a winning trade here, albeit a very small winning trade, but that was enough to uh, help it reach its goal. Okay, the E-mini S&P on the Superenco 4 tick only lost $100 today, uh, as did most of the other Superenco 4 tick charts. Uh, between $100 and $200, so not big on the losses today for these charts. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on the one-minute line break chart. And this had both uh, a mix of winning and losing trades. So the drawdown was only about $100, I believe. And it recovered and uh, ended up 412 for the day on two contracts. That's still about 30 ticks in the E-mini S&P. Okay, that's all for today's video. If you'd like to find out more, please visit our website or send us an email to systems at bluewavetrading.com. Thanks for watching today.